Okay, we're making cornbread today and what we got here is some butter in the pan. We're going to melt that first and get that going and then we're going to use it in the recipe and use the pan to bake the cornbread. So we'll get that going. These are the other things. We've got an egg and milk together here. We've got flour and cornmeal, salt, sugar, and baking powder. That's pretty much all it. It's all going to go into the bowl, mix it, and then we'll be done, pour it back in the pan and bake it. Okay, so I've melted the butter, and you just swirl it around in the pan, and you can see why um, cornbread could be fattening. That might be one of the reasons. So just put that aside, and we're just going to combine. You can put everything in the dry, or you can add, I like to put the sugar in with the egg and the milk and the salt. Put that in there. And then just mix them around. Get that going. And then add the flour and the cornmeal to your bowl. That's good there. And the baking powder. I didn't sift that, but it's probably a good idea to sift the bake, baking powder in to get it any less. I'm also going to mix it up with this. So, either way, it should, it'll all work out. provide your no unstick surface for that pan. And then you start working this in here. Get as much off of this as you can. Apparently you're not supposed to lick it because you're not supposed to eat raw eggs, yada yada. And then put the hot pan on there. Here we go. Just scrape it all in there. Now yeah, just work it around a little bit. You can see there's still a lot of butter in there, but that's what, <laughs> that's what makes cornbread taste good. do it. Stick it in the oven and it'll be out in 30 minutes. Okay it's been in there for half an hour and it's not completely brown on the top so you can leave it for a little bit longer or you can eat it like that. I mean it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. So uh, yeah it's basically done.